Don't we all just love flies? Phenomenal. The only downside is it smells. Mm, it smells quite, you know, the flies that you kill with the fly swat. And another downside is, is once it catch so many flies, the bag starts to have maggots inside. Yeah, maggots. But don't worry, because you can dispose of it and throw it out and then be free of flies. So hey, let's go outside. Hey, this is the MSB. G L A M B O Y. Welcome back to my channel, Lavar. Welcome back to my channel. Hey you guys, how you doing? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And do hit that notification bell so you can be notified once I upload a video. To all of my new subscribers, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you to pieces. And I'm just bringing you another authentic video. Don't we all just love flies? You know, the flies that you kill with the fly swatter. You know, snap. Snap, you know, don't we just, no, I'm just kidding. None of us love flies. In this video, I thought it would be perfect to bring you guys the solution to clearing out your yard, your house, or even your surrounding areas when you're chilling outside. We all have problems everywhere with flies, 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 but that's okay. I have the new latest updated edition of a fly trap <laughs> like let's just be extra yeah i'm showing you guys a great fly trap that i purchased from home depot or you can purchase it i think it could be at walmart it could be at lowe's i mean you can find it on amazon you can find this fly trap anywhere and you're going to love it so without further ado you guys well first this fly trap is used with water and you also have to cut out a hole in the top, which I'll be showing you. And you also have to have your own string so you can hang it up. Have you a great place where you want to hang it up outside? It works phenomenal. The only downside is it smells. It smells quite loud. Quite loud. But that's okay because it works. It like actually works. And another downside, and another downside is, is once it catch so many flies, the bag starts to have maggots inside. Yeah, maggots. But don't worry because you can dispose of it and throw it out and then be free of flies. So hey, let's go outside. All right, you guys. So. This is one area that I have flies, the fly trap in, and it's full. It's full, full, full. And another place that I have one, so it could be low enough so I could show you guys, was here. Look at this. Look at that. They're all captured, and this was an empty bag. String, like I told you guys, bam. So... Let's get to the video itself. Okay, you guys. This is a fly trap. And it says it catches over 20,000. 20,000 flies. And I'm going to show you how to use this bag, baby. So, what you do first is you take your scissors. And you're going to cut around the circle. Now you have to make sure you cut around the circle. And I always try to cut like inside it a little bit. But it already stinks. Like you can smell it, like it smells so bad. So you have, it's imperative that you cut, I cut inside the line where the white is, like, you know, and you know, like, just to make sure. 
because you're gonna have to pop this part up and you want to make sure that you have all that plastic around it the right way so that's why I keep that I could inside of the dotted line I try to at least you know just to make sure so this is what it should look like this is what it should look like okay I'm gonna get some string and once I get some string I'm gonna come right back and put my string through here which I thought this came with a string but that's like odd but whatever I'll be back hold on so I found this lying around and it's just some regular um, Hollywood Ruffa I try to set now the instructions and it says right here where you feel excuse me where you fill the water up is right here, right to this line, right here. Don't go above it because the flies probably can get out. So you just want to do it like this, get it right together. And we're going to go to the sink. Now we're at the sink and we're going to fill this bad baby up. It's going, it's going, it's going. Just lean it over just a tad bit. Lean it over. And it's going to fill up. Make sure you watch the line. Even it out. You see it's almost. Come back down. Perfect. Now. We go outside. Okay, you guys so that string was not strong enough it ended up breaking and um yeah that wasn't very cute for me so I definitely had to come back to tell you now this is got metal inside so I know it should do perfect But you never know. So now I'm going to, because you see, I dropped it so it went underneath the line. So I'm going to get some more water and just fill it up to that point and I'll be back. Yeah, and we'll have some updates. I have some updates on what here on the sides. Right here, there's nothing inside. So, wait until a few days or even a couple of hours. Home Depot on point. Home Depot 
on one point. Climb up here to show you guys just what it looks like. Look at this. Look at it. Do you see all of them that it caught so far? Look at all of them. Do you see this? So this trap works phenomenally. It works phenomenally, you guys. Look at this. All liquid flies now. And they're stuck in there. And yeah. The best fly trap ever. That's, that whatever this stuff is. Whatever this is. It attracts them. And they're stuck. You also see why I told you to be careful above, you know, cutting that part. But hey. Other than that, you're good to go. Thank you so much. I had to come show you guys again. Do you not see all of them flying? All of them flying around. You can't see it that well this way, but can see a little bit amazing the best thing they could have ever made looks like it's gonna be raining looks like it's gonna be raining so I put it right there so it could be in a mixture of like back behind my back door and back here in my backyard. So, oh, they're flying everywhere now. You can see them. Um, look how many of them there are. There are thousands, well, hundreds. When I tell you that's the best trap on life, you guys. All right, I'm going to quickly get the freak out of here i mean where are they coming from look at all of them i'm gonna get on this ladder and snatch this stuff down too i have to do a lot like i have to get all of my little bushes trimmed up really nicely and yeah i got a lot to do i mean look at that i gotta get on the ladder get on the roof and go all the way up there all the way up there which is like a lot all right you guys now this is like day five or day whatever this is what happens in the bag do you not see the flies that are trapped inside do you not see the maggots that are falling everywhere i'm in a swarm of flies so this is how it ends up turning out after you've had it for a while and they begin to become trapped. So you guys, this is something great, very icky, but the last day update before you will take it out, let it down and throw it out. And there we have it, two traps, one great result. Um, this video today I honestly did not want to record, but you have to work. So, um, I experienced a death um, within my family, my friendship, you know, aura. And today I'm just not feeling it. But I know I owe you guys an explanation. But I just want to say, you know, R.I.H. Rest in Heaven, Miss Dee Dee, you will forever be missed. You know, when I first came here to Columbus, you know, you really held me down. You are very crazy, very energetic, very full of love. And I wanted to take this time to give you a moment of silence. Just give you 
your gratitude that you deserve because you will be missed so much. And that's why my spirit is kind of down. There's so much stuff happening in, in the world, you guys. Keep yourself safe. Love your family. And I will be back with a more chipper and dapper video. And I will be in a more great mood. Love you guys to pieces. See you guys on the next video. And talk to you later.